For centuries, seers and prophets have come forward, offering dramatic visions of mankind's destiny. But what happens when the predictions turn deadly? Well, that's what we'll try and find out. Can ordinary people catch glimpses of what will come, striking into messages from distant times and states? Prophets and mystics have emerged through the ages, painting realistic pictures of humanity's fate. The year 2023 extended as a period of profound disruptions and tragedies. Predictions consistently pointed toward an appearing conflict and the downfall of a prominent corporation. Nostradamus, the 16th century French astrologer, continues to captivate the world with his mysterious visions. What does he foresee for the year 2024? Throughout history, certain individuals have amazed us with their strange ability to enter the future. One such figure is Michel de Nostradamus. An astrologer from 1503 to 1566, Nostradamus gained fame for his prognostications that persistently captivated and surprised us to this day. One in particular resonated globally among his multiple prophecies, as it transpired in Ishikawa, Japan, not long ago. An intimated seismic event, a magnitude of 7.5, ruined Ishikawa. Unfortunately, 55 individuals perished in this calamitous incident. Curiously, Nostradamus had foretold of such an earthquake over 400 years ago. However, this seismic upheaval wasn't the sole foresight of Nostradamus. Be ready for an even more astonishing report that signals our curious minds to be covered. Nostradamus's book, Lapras, written in 1555, contains his prophecy. In the year 2024, a colossal earthquake will rock the coast of Japan, releasing a ruinous tsunami that shall destroy accommodations, a heavy charge on lives. Nostradamus also cautions of a close famine, born of a noxious flood, hinting at the tsunami's ruinous impact on agricultural lands. The precision of his predictions is astounding, leaving many skeptical. However, by understanding Nostradamus's life, we explore his persistent chasing of wisdom and concerns about potential conflicts with religious authorities. Michel de Nostradamus, later recognized as Nostradamus, entered the world on December 14, 1503, in the southern expanse of France, in saint rémy de provence He emerged as one of nine offspring in the household of Rayer S.R. and her spouse, J.D. Nostradamus, a prosperous grain merchant and part-time legal scribe of Jewish lineage. Nostradamus's grandfather, G. Gason, had embraced Catholicism 50 years earlier, changing the family name to Nostradam to evade persecution during the Inquisition. Details about his formative years are limited, yet evidence suggests his intellect was remarkable, evident in his swift progress during early schooling. He received guidance from his maternal grandfather, Jean de saint ry who recognized exceptional intelligence and potential in his grandson. Young Nostradamus absorbed Latin, Greek, Hebrew, and mathematics rudiments during this pivotal period. His exposure to astrology and Jewish customs from his grandfather laid the groundwork for his subsequent prophetic endeavors. Nonetheless, one might speculate whether his early experiences truly laid the foundation for his prophetic pronouncements. It is well known that Nostradamus concealed the nature of his prophecies. At 14, Nostradamus began his medical studies at the University of Avignon. However, his education was cut short after a year due to a bubonic plague outbreak. Undeterred, he traveled the countryside, immersing himself in herbal remedies and working as an apothecary. Living in the tumultuous 1500s, a time marked by disease and mysticism, Nostradamus became a plague doctor, gaining modest renown for his herbal treatments. In 1522, he enrolled at the University of Montpellier to become a medical doctor. Despite encountering resistance from Catholic authorities regarding his astrological beliefs, he persisted in his studies. Rumors circulated about his past as an apothecary, but he ultimately obtained his medical license in 1525, adopting the Latinized form of his name, Nostradamus. Over the years, Nostradamus traveled extensively, treating plague victims in France and Italy. He pioneered new methods in an era lacking effective remedies, emphasizing hygiene and fresh air over traditional practices like bloodletting. Famous for his rose pill, an herbal remedy rich in vitamin C, 
he earned admiration and support from the people of Provence. In 1531, Nostradamus was invited to collaborate with a prominent scholar of the era, Julius Caesar Scaliger, in Agen, southwestern France. There, he entered into marriage and, over the ensuing years, welcomed two children into the world. However, tragedy struck in 1534, when his wife and children died, likely to the plague, while he was away on a medical mission in Italy. Failing to save his loved ones led to a loss of standing within the community and with his benefactor, Scaliger. Despite these hardships, Nostradamus tirelessly battled the plague, unaware that these experiences would shape his destiny as a renowned seer. They paved the path toward his enigmatic prophecies that would enthrall the world. What hidden knowledge did he glean during his medical endeavors that would intertwine with his mystical predictions? Keep watching to uncover the answer. But how did Nostradamus's prophetic journey begin? His predictions often resonated around natural disasters and conflicts, recurring historical occurrences. Old advisor of the king, one penetrated his forehead into his brain, the other in between his eye and socket, destroying his eye. Some believe his prophecies foretold actual events, such as the demise of Henry II, Hitler's rise, and the tragic events of 9-11. By 1554, Nostradamus's visions had become integral to his almanac works, prompting him to concentrate on a huge opus. Initially titled Centuries, he envisioned ten volumes containing a hundred predictions spanning the next two millennia. In 1555, he revealed his magnum opus, Les Prophéties. Crafted in cryptic and elusive language, his prophecies challenged interpretation, leaving readers to decode specific events. Nostradamus focused on themes such as natural calamities and conflicts, leading some to speculate about his prescient accuracy regarding historical milestones like the French Revolution and Napoleon's reign. However, opinions diverge regarding the accuracy and importance of Nostradamus's predictions. Skeptics argue that the vague and nebulous nature of the prophecies permits retroactive interpretation, allowing almost any event to be linked to a prophecy. They contend that people may inadvertently find connections due to the broad spectrum of events covered in Nostradamus's writings. Nevertheless, the attraction of Nostradamus's predictions lies in their extensive presence in historical records and popular culture. Despite the debate surrounding their accuracy, they intrigue and fascinate the public. Only the first volume of a century book was completed and published during his lifetime. The reasons for Nostradamus's inability to finish the remaining volumes still need to be clarified. His demanding career as a physician, coupled with social and political challenges, may have impeded his progress. Additionally, he faced criticism from religious authorities who viewed his prophecies as heretical and outside acceptable norms. Despite the incomplete state of centuries, the first volume of Les Prophéties garnered significant acclaim and popularity, propelling Nostradamus to fame during his lifetime. His prophecies captivated countless individuals, inspiring attempts to decipher their meanings and establish connections to historical events. The significance of Nostradamus's unfinished opus lies in his enduring fascination with his prophecies and their profound impact on popular culture. Despite the incomplete vision of centuries, the influence of Nostradamus's work has persisted throughout the ages. His prophecies have been subjected to countless interpretations and reinterpretations by scholars and enthusiasts alike, each striving to unlock the mysteries embedded within his verses and relate them to contemporary events. Now that we've looked into where Nostradamus's predictions came from, let's examine some examples that have come to light. One such prophecy, often linked to the Great Fire of London in 1666, is found in Century 2, Quatrain 51. Nostradamus wrote, The blood of the just will be demanded of London burnt by the fire in the year 66. The ancient lady will fall from her high place, and many of the same sect will be killed. Interpreters suggest that this quatrain refers to the catastrophic blaze that engulfed London in 1666, resulting in numerous deaths and significant destruction. The ancient lady is believed to symbolize the city of London, and the same sect 
could allude to religious conflicts that ensued in the fire's aftermath. While interpretations of Nostradamus's writings remain subjective, the connection between this prophecy and the Great Fire of London is difficult to ignore. But wait, there's more. Nostradamus also seemingly foresaw the horrors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In one of his quatrains, he spoke of scourges the like of which was never seen, a description that eerily mirrors the devastation caused by the atomic bombings that ravaged these Japanese cities at the close of World War II. The mention of a stone in the tree could symbolize the mushroom clouds that rose above the cities, while people put out by steel may reference the aircraft that delivered the deadly payloads. While some skeptics argue that Nostradamus's quatrains are often vague and open to retroactive interpretation, the parallels between his predictions and historical events are undeniably striking. However, it all hinges on your level of belief. So, what does Nostradamus predict for this year? Get ready because we're about to explore what could happen in the months ahead. As 2024 begins, it is a year of uncertainty, and we hope that some of Nostradamus's predictions for this year will indeed come true. This year's first prophecy warns of the Earth's dryness and great floods. The astrologer suggests that climatic shifts will persist, wreaking havoc on our planet. The reference to the Earth growing more parched could signify the escalating aridity in many regions due to rising temperatures and shifting weather patterns. Similarly, the prediction of great floods may allude to the increasing frequency and severity of extreme weather events, such as hurricanes, typhoons, and heavy rainfall, exacerbated by global warming. These events can cause devastating flooding, displacing communities and inflicting widespread damage. In today's world, where the impacts of climate change are increasingly evident, this prophecy serves as a poignant reminder of the urgent need to address environmental issues and mitigate the effects of climate change. Continuing with the prophecy, Nostradamus foretells a decline in the finances of prosperous countries accompanied by social unrest. This economic downturn may lead to people resorting to farming and migrating to regions with more abundant water sources. Conflicts between states may arise as they vie for control over water resources, further exacerbating tensions. In a world facing economic uncertainty and social upheaval, it's essential to remain vigilant and prepared for the challenges ahead. The second prophecy by Nostradamus suggests that the health of Vladimir Putin, the Russian leader, will be under threat this year. Putin may encounter significant health challenges, leading to a turbulent period. However, the prophecy remains cryptic, lacking specific details about the nature or severity of the health issues Putin may face. Additionally, it mentions a diabolical successor, born under the same Chinese zodiac sign, indicating someone close to Putin, who may seek to exploit the situation and seize power. This change in leadership could destabilize the political landscape both domestically and internationally. Nostradamus also predicts a significant change in the world economy, with wealth and power shifting, leading to uncertainty in leadership and currency markets. Amidst this uncertainty, India is poised to emerge as a key player in reshaping the global geopolitical and financial landscape in 2024. With its burgeoning economy, youthful population, and ongoing economic reforms, India can potentially wield considerable influence on the world stage. It truly became one of the most widely read books in the world. It both astounded and terrified readers with its predictions about dreadful events to come. As Nostradamus's prophecies are open to interpretation and skepticism, they offer intriguing insights into potential future events. As we navigate the uncertainties of the year ahead, we must remain vigilant and adaptable to whatever may come our way. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, we come to the most intriguing prediction of the Nostradamus, the existence of extraterrestrial civilization. In his quatrains and writings, Nostradamus hints at possible contact with beings from other planets or dimensions. Some interpreters believe his references to beings from the sky and strange crafts could indicate encounters with extraterrestrial life forms. These interpretations have sparked speculation and debate among scholars studying Nostradamus's works 
and the phenomenon of extraterrestrial life. One of the most cited passages associated with the idea of extraterrestrial civilization in Nostradamus's prophecies is Century 2, Quatrain 30, which reads, when the great pontiff changes his abode and the entire world is in commotion far away, far away from Rome, people of all ranks will be against him. While this quatrain does not explicitly mention extraterrestrial life, some believers in Nostradamus's prophecies interpret the references to a great pontiff and people being far away from Rome as symbolic descriptions of an otherworldly encounter or cosmic event. Before we delve deeper into this topic, let's rewind to address some important quotes by Nostradamus related to the prophecies expected to pass in 2024. Two significant quotes, one regarding a naval year and another about the King of the Isles, have sparked considerable interest and speculation. Nostradamus predicted a naval year in 2024, describing red adversaries growing pale with fear and instilling dread in the great ocean. This prediction has led to speculation that it may point towards an impending conflict, specifically an attack on Taiwan by China, given the association with red adversaries, aligning with China's flag being red. Additionally, he foresaw that the King of the Isles would not remain in power for long. He mentioned, a new king shall be anointed who for a long time will appease the earth. Many interpret this as referencing King Charles III, suggesting that he may ascend to the throne but face challenges and potentially a short reign. This prediction raises questions about the actions and leadership of future monarchs. Moving beyond geopolitical and royal matters, Nostradamus's notes touch upon Pope Francis, hinting at the possibility of his replacement by someone else. However, no specific details regarding this potential succession's timing, circumstances, or implications are provided. Nevertheless, the mention of Pope Francis adds another layer of intrigue and invites further exploration into the future of religious leadership within the Catholic Church. Finally, Nostradamus suggests a potential period of decline in the power of the Catholic Church, symbolized by the death of a very old pontiff and the rise of a younger pope. This prediction has intrigued many, reminiscent of St. Malachy's prophecy of the last pope. Despite facing criticism for his predictions, Nostradamus remained steadfast in his beliefs. He continued pursuing what he thought was right, leaving behind a legacy that has intrigued scholars and enthusiasts for centuries. In 1566, he passed away, but his cryptic verses remain, challenging readers to decipher their meaning and uncover the secrets of the future. Interpreting Nostradamus's writings presents numerous challenges. His verses are open to various interpretations, leading to debates among scholars and believers. While many view him as a visionary, others dismiss his predictions as mere products of imagination. The question of belief in Nostradamus' predictions remains a personal one. Some believe wholeheartedly in his prophecies, seeing them as glimpses into the future, while others remain skeptical, attributing similarities between his predictions and historical events to coincidence. Ultimately, the truth of Nostradamus' predictions can only be revealed with time. Whether his prophecies will pass this year or in the future is uncertain. However, we may better understand the man and his work by examining past events and comparing them to his predictions. Nostradamus' prophecies challenge us to decipher the hidden meanings in his verses, capturing a glimpse of the future through his words. He intertwined the deaths of notable figures and the looming threat of natural and artificial disasters. These prophecies have fascinated and startled people throughout history, igniting passionate discussions and evoking a mix of hope and fear. Understanding the true essence of Nostradamus's mystical insights allows us to glimpse what lies ahead, serving as a guiding light through the complexities of life. His predictions persistently resonate as we move through time, reminding us of the mystery that connects the past, present, and enigmatic future. The recent earthquake in Ishikawa, Japan, stands as a testament to the prophetic vision of this extraordinary French astrologer. However, there is an air of anticipation that extends beyond this revelation. Prepare yourself for the secrets that await us in the coming months. They could be earth-shattering, resonating deeply within the collective consciousness of our beloved planet. Stay curious and open-minded, for the uncovered knowledge may reshape our understanding of time, destiny, 
and the very fabric of our existence. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in our next video.